Every day I spend my time drinking wine, feeling fine, waiting here to find the sign. Hello, my name is Louise Sidbeck from Riviera Wine and today we're going to talk about wine quality. To assess the quality of the wine, you need some tasting experience. But already from the start, it's very helpful to start thinking about quality from the beginning. You can then start understanding the wine and really understand the difference between an entry market wine and bef between a blue chip wine. Of course, in the yachting industry, where we most of us work, we sell a lot of really top quality wines. So it can be very helpful to understand why are those wines such a, considered to be such a high quality wine. So to get under the skin of the wine and to understand the wine, you can think in terms of an acronym called BLIC. BLIC stands for Balance, Length, Intensity, Complexity. Um, most wines today are balanced, if we start with the first one. Um, the balance uh, should be between all structural elements in the wine. So if it's a high acid wine, it needs to be backed up with enough fruit intensity so the acidity doesn't seem out of balance or too harsh. Or if it's a high tannin wine, it also needs to be backed up by fullness of body or richness or certain alcohol level and acidity to be in balance. Most wines today are balanced but it's still something that you consider when you assess quality. The next one is length. Length is perhaps the key indicator to quality combined with complexity which is the last one. Uh, the length of the wine relates to how long does the pleasant aromas stay on your palate. So it's not how long you can actually feel that you just had a sip of wine. I had maybe one ten minutes ago and I still feel that I had something, a wine, a sip of wine. But it's no aroma staying on the palate. So one, there's two forms of length. There's one length that you feel on the palate, how long does the aroma stays on the palate. But there is also a physical length, so if you take a sip of wine, then some wines will almost stop here physically and some wines you will feel going all the way back through your neck. Very few people talk about this physical length, so if you do you will seem very knowledgeable. But that's how you assess the length of the wine and it's definitely a key indicator to quality. Then we have the intensity. The intensity relates to the intensity of flavours of the wine. A wine can have very high intensity of flavour without being of good quality. But if it also has a long length, a great complexity and balance, then the intensity is also considered to be a um, quality indicator. If it, a wine is very uh, diluted or doesn't have hardly any intensity, of course that's not something you find attractive in a wine. Then we have the last one, and that's complexity. And that relates to the range of aromas you can find in a wine. Some wines will just smell of one or two and that will be something that we call a one-dimensional wine. And then you have other wines that can maybe smell of ten different things from ten different families. So you have some fruit, you have floral, you have earthy elements, you have oak elements, you have elements of aging and, uh, and that can together form of a incredibly complexity and um, really a work of art. So the complexity in a wine together with the length is perhaps the two most important aspects when you judge quality. So I hope this was helpful uh, to understand wine quality a bit better and if you think, remember just thinking very briefly going through the blick in your mind next time you taste a wine, I'm sure that you will be able to understand wine quality a lot better in quite a short space of time. Okay, happy tasting!